And we're looking at temperatures uh, here, cooling off those highs that we had today into the upper 90s earlier, but uh, only in the mid 80s, not bad. Not bad right now. We'll be cooling into the 70s uh, later on for you tonight. So just another clear, humid, warm night, kind of like we've been seeing the last just several days. Maybe a little bit of breeze uh, as you're looking at about southeast 10 to 15 uh, miles an hour. This is in here just for Daniel Esteve because he maybe wants to hit the golf course tomorrow. Sunny skies. going to be a little bit hot, though. Uh, for all of us, uh, if you want to get outside, maybe get a little bit of stuff done. Uh, looking about 98 degrees uh, by the 4 o'clock. Or, or maybe you want to go to the beach. Uh, heading off to the islands, uh, looking about 88 degrees. That gulf temperature right around to 82, so not bad there. And then even if you want to get on the bay, uh, Laguna Madre looking about to 86 degrees there. Uh, maybe a little bit of moderate chop, though, on the bay. So just something to keep in mind, those boaters out there. Otherwise... Not a bad day. Uh, looking at uh, your Sunday, uh, just maybe a few high clouds into the afternoon hours, but that's about it. Now you get into Monday, we're starting to notice a little bit more of that sea breeze influence, especially into the afternoon hours. Let's take a look at that. Here it is, 3 o'clock. You're looking at uh, maybe a few of those pop-up little showers. Again, nothing really widespread, but uh, they'll be in and out of here, and then they'll clear out to by the afternoon hours. But really this week, the big story is obviously it's been so hot, we're going to start to slowly cool things down. Looking at uh, mid-90s by next Saturday. And those feels like temperatures, that's where it really kind of stands out. Not going to be 100 degrees, that feels like temperature, but 99. So still rather on the hot side, at least for the next uh, several days. So what do we have those tips for you? Check the back seat. Stay hydrated if you're going to be outside. Make sure those pets have shade. Plus, wear the sunscreen if you're going to be outside. And then if you're going to be inside, yeah, make sure the AC filter is uh, looking pretty good. Now, the other news is... We're going to start to see some more rain chances as the week goes on. The highest threat for rain is going to be a 30% chance on Tuesday. I do have a look at that, and you can see it's really going to be Tuesday morning. You see those little pop-up showers there about 9.30 in the morning. So something we're going to keep an eye on as we get in towards uh, later on in the week. Could see a few more of those shower activity, again, picking up uh, along that sea breeze. Now, take a look at the tropics, though. Still have Josephine. Now, Kyle's been downgraded to what we call an extra tropical storm moving on out of here. Not really too worried about that. But Josephine is going to be curving out what we call a fish storm and weakening. Now, it is going to bring some rain toward Bermuda, but that's about it. That's only real concern though. The next storm system, that's going to be Laura. If, you know, if we get the next one, and we're right on track. Right now we've seen 11 storms and we're forecasting somewhere about uh, 19 to 25. So uh, right on track for getting some more of those uh, tropical systems uh, over the next several weeks. But really this week though, just watching that sea breeze as well as so slightly cooler temperatures heading into next weekend.